Episode 103. Thank you, Benjamin and Rob, for the awesome awesomeness of financial support this week via tips. Thank you. Thank you. It was super nice. And you know what? It ended this year on a good note. Thank you. A very good note. And speaking of 2021, screw you, 2021. You're freaking dead. The year is almost over. It was a crap year filled with crappy people doing crappy things. You know, some say it was 2020, part two. Sequels rarely work. Yeah, well, here's hoping 2022 will be better than 2021. But, honestly, it seems like we're all going to be off to a bad start as people's inabilities to keep the hell away from each other have just caused viral numbers to rise to the worst they've been in, like, forever. Good job, humanity. You're all terrible. Except those who were supporting us. I mean, they, they've been really nice this year. All right, fine. You know, you know it is sad, right? Because I, I had this whole procedure down pat for when I go out, right? You know, and, and I started getting a little more comfortable, you know, roaming around outdoors because the numbers were so low and whatnot. Now, now we're right back to where we started from, you know, because humans, I mean, I think people got too complacent with everything, so, so they just said, oh, this is fine, and, and like a popular meme sat in a fire-filled room just drinking coffee. You know, I think it was the holidays what set us back. You know, most people missed out on the holidays in 2020. So they're like, oh, let's make up for it this year. Let's all get together. And, you know, it's, here we are. It's sad. Yeah, I mean, why the hell would you visit people during the holidays anyway? I mean, everyone is always complaining about the stress, the arguments, and all that BS. Yet, they all decided to get together anyway when they had an easy-to-use, get-out-of-the-holidays-free card. Like, what? What is wrong with you? I, I, you know, I think we should focus on a new year. Forget about humans' past mistakes. Let us all move forward with, with optimism. Dude, modern humanity had a good thousand years to move forward. And this is what we get? No. Well, um, 2022 will hopefully be a better year. Maybe? Please? Dude, we've been hoping for a better year for the last six years. And each one just keeps getting worse. Uh, look, look at this one. Phonies Decade in Review. Yeah, yeah. You want a decade in review? Yeah, here you go. Civil issues haven't improved. Everyone is a little bit poorer, except the uber-rich, of course. Political discourse is just misguided and embarrassing. Misinformation hasn't slowed down. Cancel culture hasn't been canceled. Facebook still exists somehow. There's a French fry shortage in Japan. Music, movies, and media have become slightly more stupid every year. And yet another challenge seems to go viral, putting dumb people in harm's way. Which, at this point, I am fine with. As I think Darwinism really needs to be put into overdrive at this point. You're a mean one, Mr. Cringe. Yeah, okay. Like, seriously, we all need to just let idiocy weed itself out at this point. I am tired of dumb people lingering on this planet, inconveniencing everyone else's existence. D define dumb. No common sense. Stupid. You know, like using a hairdryer in the bathtub kind of stupid. Oh, you know, I, I kind of always thought you meant, like, book smarts. No, there's plenty of people who have common sense and are good people but don't know a damn thing about history, math, or anything. A person's intelligence, to me, is not determined by their knowledge of facts, but knowledge of self and their actions. That is very zen. Yeah, I mean, as long as a human is courteous, kind, and has enough common sense to, you know, not go shopping when they're diagnosed with the plague, that's kind of what I look for. You know, that's still rad these days. Yep, but... Moving on, let's... New Year's resolution! Oh, 4K resolution TV! I don't own one, but I want to get one one day. In 2022, I want my TV to be good. Um, New Year's resolutions are usually about bettering oneself, you know? Not materialistic things. Oh, um, I resolution myself to be a better magician, so, so I can pull quarters out of people's ears and slowly become richer. Yeah, good luck with that. Thank you. My resolution is to be a tad less obsessed with baby metal and anime in general, as I feel I tend to get rather consumed by it every so often. Every so often? Well, you know, once in a while, you know, I'll tend to get in the mode where I'm like, oh, look, baby metal did a thing, or oh, look, there's this anime and this and that, and look, and, you know, sometimes, right, I feel people who are not into either 
might be put off by my overzealous fandom. You know? <laughs> I know I am. Why? My resolution? To pull back on giving a crap about everything. World events, dumb people, and the overall failings of humanity. Oh, so, um, an accept things how they all type thing? Oh, hell no. It's more like, uh, some people are too stupid to live, so go die type thing. Oh, like you mean? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, what's all deal with that one? You, you know, it's been all 20 years and all that, and every time she works to improve herself, she just falls back into some self-loathing depression cycle and, you know, just wallowing in self-pity and all that. Yeah, exactly. No progress. It's the same crap every year with that one. And little to no progress has been made in bettering her character. As far as I'm concerned, she's a literal waste of space. A leech and a pathetic excuse for sentient existence. If she needs help, I am not in a professional position to administer that assistance. So yeah, she's on her own. You could be supportive. No, no. For all the logic I've doled out, it's just been the same cycle. And be it Jermaine or anyone else in anyone else's life. I've said this before, but yo, one should not be held an emotional hostage to someone who refuses to get any kind of help whatsoever. Be it drugs, alcohol, emotions, anxiety, or whatever, we all have our crap to deal with. If the individual in question has not made any progress in years, I'm not going to waste my time, and neither should you, all right? No one should sacrifice their own life for someone who refuses to live theirs. Done. You know, I mean, you kind of have a point, even though it's rather harsh. Josie! Yes? I is Foamy making good points, or is he just being mean? Logic has no emotional stake in a decision or its outcome. So with that taken into consideration, Foamy is, at the very least, being logical and honest in his assessment of the situation. He has given sound advice. It was never taken. He has tried to be supportive in his own way, and it never seems to be enough. He listened, but was not heard. He bore the brand of an emotionally unstable individual who slowly chipped away at his patience for decades. Clearly, it has been a reoccurring cycle that has been unbroken for years. The only logical way to break a cycle is to remove a variable. The variable here being foamy. Thank you. However, oh, come on. With human emotions being factored in, it may seem to outside observers that Fomi is being rather mean-spirited in his delivery of said advice. But, what can one do when one does not listen to you? You shout. Exactly. Yes, but, no, no, no buts, alright? That's the whole thing. Everyone has an if and or but, maybe I can change, I can get better, and they never do. Everyone grasps onto the hope of things getting better, but they never will, unless all parties involved move forward and change together. Stop making excuses, move forward. With 2022 being a new year, I really think everyone should take the time to reevaluate their lives. Yo, we've all been stressing, we've all been anxious, we've all been depressed. And everyone that has been trying to do the right thing, trying to move forward continue to be held back by a society of Neanderthalic knuckle-draggers too stupid to live. Existence has become tedious because humanity has become too idiotic to function. And much like everyone else, I'm tired of all of it. I'm not going to be held captive by people's emotional instability, and neither should you. I am not going to be held back by a society who's too stupid to graduate, so now we're all forced to repeat the school year. No. Screw you. Evolve. You're really going into 2022 in an angsty way, aren't you? Yeah, kinda salty this one is. Yeah, well, everyone else should be too. I want people to either get their crap together or have Darwinism napalm the stupids to oblivion. We've all been held back long enough, alright? We've all had to put our lives on pause long enough. Get your crap together and let's move forward. So, any good news? Well, um, I came across a comic called Girl Scouts Stone Ghost by Jim Mafood. Uh, girl is spelt G-R-R-L, so keep that in mind if you look it up. Has a unique art style, which I tend to gravitate towards, as I find a lot of art out there to be kind of samey. So, good job, Jim Mafood. Keep up the good work. Well, well that's nice. That, that's something. Um, other than that, usual end-of-the-year laziness on the news front, as apparently nothing happens between Christmas and New Year's worth reporting on because people are lazy schmucks. Stop taking constant holiday breaks and get back to work. God, humanity's work ethic sucks. Anyway, um, no, so folks, seriously, take some time out to reevaluate your lives. If you're feeling stuck or in some cases imprisoned by your situation, either seek help, move on, adapt, or overcome whatever the circumstances may be. 
And I know people are gonna be like, well, it's not that easy. <sighs> I get it, okay? I've been there. But nothing changes unless you change it. And though changing up your situations and surroundings may seem like a daunting task, just take the first step. You may stumble, you may fall, but there's always a possibility of succeeding. And then you can run free, okay? Life is too short. Stop wasting it being trapped, held captive by people or circumstances. That's my point. Stop. I'm not saying you have to be selfish and obnoxious and be dismissive of everybody else on the planet. It's quite the opposite. Everyone should be taking other people into consideration. So if you're the one holding people back, just move out of the way. Just take a step to the side. Stop shackling people down, okay? And for everyone else, yo, I'm not saying to just flat leave people. I'm saying move forward. And if you got to, you drag them with you, okay? But if they don't want to be dragged to better places or newer horizons, don't let that stop you, all right? You know, that, that is kind of good advice, you know. Um, take things one step at a time. Um, and let's see where the road leads you. And all that. Roads are scary. A lot of squirrels get hit on roads. You know what? Then stay home, right? Oh, okay. I got options. Ugh. Later, everyone. I know the world is kind of jank, but for 2022, make what you can of it. Chances are we're just going to have a repeat of 2020 and 2021. But if you're stuck inside because of global human idiocy, invent, create, work on yourself, your situation, and better yourself. Seriously. Here, here. What? Here, here, here. What? Uh oh, no, I'm here, here. What? I hear nothing. What are you hearing? Have I got deaf? It's, it's all an expression. What? Oh, God. Whatever, I'm out. Whoever has the free time, somebody tosses your name into a wood chipper or a trash compactor. I got better things to do with my life than hang around somebody sleeping in a pile of half eaten hot dogs. Yeah, that, that room is starting to get a bit rank. Oi. Happy New Year and such. I like hot dogs. <laughs>